Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease in which inflammation is targeted primarily at the salivary and lacrimal glands, those glands that make the tears and saliva. And as a result, one gets tremendous dryness of the eyes and the mouth. But it's also a systemic disease, and so it also affects other organs uh, and other tissues. So in that context, it can produce joint pain from arthritis, it can affect internal organs, it can make people very tired, they get brain fog, cognitive difficulties. So it has a variety of systemic effects in addition to affecting primarily the tears and saliva glands. So Sjogren's syndrome affects primarily women, and women primarily in their perimenopausal and postmenopausal years of life, although it clearly affects children, teenagers, and older individuals as well. The ratio of, of women to men is easily more than 10 to 1, so it really is a disease that, that primarily affects women. So dryness of the eyes and mouth are kind of the cardinal symptoms of Sjogren's syndrome, but it also affects, causes dryness elsewhere, such as in the skin and the vagina. So patients with Sjogren's syndrome often do get other autoimmune diseases. Sometimes it might be thyroid disease, it might be liver forms of autoimmune liver disease, but also they often get Sjogren's syndrome in the context of another rheumatic disease, such as rheumatoid arthritis or systemic lupus or systemic sclerosis. So it actually is the most common autoimmune disease to be associated with yet another autoimmune rheumatic disease. Well, I think there's been a problem in that patients are often not diagnosed on time. Uh, the symptoms of dry eyes and dry mouth are actually very common in the population, so a lot of people have those symptoms. And it doesn't really come across a physician to think, oh, if the patient reports dry eyes and dry mouth, that I should think about Sjogren's syndrome. So the, the symptoms are quite nonspecific, and then the testing that's required to diagnose Sjogren's syndrome is actually fairly complicated. Um, it may require blood tests, but in addition, it may require a biopsy of the lip, uh, which can be hard to obtain um, and read properly. I often get asked whether patients with Sjogren's can have flares, and I think the answer is clearly yes. Patients who live with this disease have periods and days when they're much worse. The dryness of their eyes and the dryness of the mouth is clearly worse than usual. Um, and some people have a much more of a systemic flare where out of the blue they'll start having much more joint pain, they'll get a rash, what we call vasculitis, uh, they will get other manifestations. So it can flare, but it's interesting, it's not a disease that flares in the way that some of our other rheumatic diseases flare, such as lupus. Um, it, it, for most patients, is much more stable uh, over time and it does not fluctuate that much on a day-to-day -day basis.